Good evening and welcome to The Good Witch. This is your Capricorn December reading for 2019. Um, uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'm glad you're here. Let's jump right in. Capricorns, this is your love. This is your finance. And this is your personal growth. When you watch these readings, you get three readings and one and without it taking an hour. So let's look into this, okay? I don't want to, but let's do this. Okay. Okay, so December will be a fun and challenging month in love for you. I see you have wish fulfillment. You're, someone you're dating could possibly be a player or some really charismatic person that could potentially be dating other people. There, that's better. That could potentially be dating other people. Are not even dating I'm seeing sleep with honestly I'm trying to find a polite way to say it I'm extremely intuitive and I'm trying to find a polite way to say this y'all have a high sex drive this month either you or the person you're with has an extremely high sex drive but it's not with someone that you're in a steady relationship with this is an in and out energy a Gemini or a Sagittarian. Pasta, I see a lot of fire, fire energies. A couple of you, it might be a Leo. But you're in this energy with this person and you're having this amazing sex or you're thinking about having this amazing sex and you are cutting them off at the same time. It's like, I want to sleep with you, but I don't want to be with you. Yes. What is he? Like, you're giving them what they wanted or what they said they wanted at one time. So, it could be a person who wasn't taking you seriously, who now wants to take you seriously, who now you don't want to take seriously. Or those roles could be reversed. There could be someone that, you, that wanted you that you didn't want. You see what I mean? And now you want them and they're like, no, I'm good on that. Hold that thought, maybe later, not right now, but we can play. So this is a very challenging month for you. It's a very, you're giving, you're giving, you're giving and wanting to receive. You're receiving, but you're not receiving what you want. You're operating in the queen of wands and the queen of swords. So it's, I love you, but I got to let you go. Type one. Or not even, I don't see love. I, a lot of you is lust. I lust you, but I gotta let you go. That is interesting. I kind of, okay. So this is the overall energy, the advice for this month. I'm gonna dig deeper into that because that's, that's interesting. There was another sign. Sag reading had something similar to that. Okay. So. It's challenging times. But that doesn't mean necessarily a bad thing. It just means challenging. Anytime you have a challenge, you have an opportunity for growth, okay? Um, this is going to be a learning experience. I'm hearing don't look, don't, don't lick, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Um, I've heard that phrase before, but it's not something I typically say. Basically, Somebody offered you something or you offered someone something they denied, they didn't want it, and now they do. And one of you guys is like, nah, you can't have that. You can have what I'm offering you, but you can't have anything else. I'm sensing some strong Leo. Let me see something. Okay, 
I normally only spend five minutes on this part, but this is way too interesting to let go. Did you see that? So I shuffled it once because I was gonna look for a clarifier. And the card that came up on the bottom is the lust card. Is um <laughs> This card basically is just lots and lots of Leo energy, some Scorpio energy, but that's possibly because of all the, the kinkiness that goes on. Okay. So I'm getting, you want it so bad it hurts, or they want it so bad it hurts. So you're taking the piece of this person that you're being offered, even though it's not all of what you want. I never really get that from this particular card, but this card is just like, I'm giving you all that I got. I'm giving you all that I got because I'm trying to give myself to you in order to get back what I truly want, but it's not, that's not gonna work. This is gonna be a lesson for you. And right up underneath it, you have the moon card, which is a card of, Cancer, some people say it's Pisces. It could be Cancer or Pisces, but basically it's high emotion. You're gonna be very emotional. You're having very emotional feelings about this person. It could be very sexual, but the sex isn't just carnal. It could be good, but it's not just carnal sex. It's so good because you're so, you have so many emotions during it. You're not paying attention to the signs that have been shown to you. If somebody could be telling you the truth of this is what I'm giving you, this is all that I'm giving you, and you're you don't you don't want to hear that. You're waiting on them to change. You're gonna to try to fix them, or you've been trying to fix them, and right now you're ready to stop. You're ready to stop. And right in the last one is the um, Queen of Cups in reverse. She was in reverse, meaning you're done giving. You need to be done giving. Some of you aren't. You should be. And there's some strong Gemini placements too. So it's Leo, Gemini, a little bit of Scorpio, but a lot of fire. Like I said, this could be anybody, but I'm seeing you being very very emotionally attached to someone who you're sleeping with and you wanted it to be something deeper than it is and it's not and that ding was a sign that i need to move on so it's gonna be challenging but it's gonna be fine hopefully you learn from it i really want to dig into that i think i might start doing love readings instead of whole readings let me know what you think in the comments i think because the love is actually really interesting but i personally like to know about my money so money numero uno strengthening bonds in the month of december you got the star card that you got abundance amen amen and you have adjustments so you have the three of cups the wish card. So you'll be doing a lot of networking. You'll be meeting a lot of new people. You're gonna be, you're, a lot of you'll be introduced to someone through someone else. Like these aren't your connections, you're meeting other people's connections. So it's the holidays, there's a lot of holiday parties. And you're gonna have to make some adjustments and you're gonna make some strong bonds, you're gonna meet some people that can have a positive impact on your life if you use those contacts appropriately. So be aware of the people that you meet. Make sure you look nice, your breath smell good all the time, you fresh and clean, and you're ready to leave an impression, a positive impression on the people that you meet. Because one day you'll need them. You won't need them, but they'll, they'll be there to help you. You'll have them in your corner. Going back to love, I keep hearing, I can't leave him alone. Something, something, something. Dope boy turning me on. 
what is that? I think that's Sierra, possibly. But you're just attracted to this person and they're showing you their true colors and you don't want to see it. You just don't want to see it. You can leave them alone. You don't have to, but you can. It's going to be whether you want that Russell Williams, Russell Wilson, or two chains. I'm not big on pop culture, y'all. But you're going to want that. You got to pick whether you want your forever with Russell or you want your on and off with two chains. But you, that's a choice that you're going to have to make. And it hurt. It's going to hurt if you let them go. But sometimes we have to go through those things. Okay? Personal growth. Okay. Mm. Okay. So your personal growth. You're looking, you're trying to refocus on your abundance. You're trying to focus on your money. You have the opportunity to make a lot of money or to open yourself up to have it come in. But you're going to have to know how to manage it. Your issue isn't going to be getting money. It's going to be keeping it. So you have, your opportunity for growth is you're going to have to make some decisions about your wealth and your finances. You're going to have to make some choices on what's important and what's not. You're go going to have to decide whether I want to buy these new red bottoms or do I want to pay a month ahead on my mortgage? Do I want to... I got $40 in the bank. Do I want to make this meal or do I want to go splurge my last $40 at my favorite nail salon or my favorite restaurant? Because you're showing the universe what you'll do with it. You get what you're asking for. When you have less, you're showing them what you'll do with more. Because people don't really change. Your habits will stay the same if you grow, when you grow. So you have to prove that you, you're going to have to grow in that area. You're going to have to prove that you can be trusted with more before you can actually receive it, right? Like, why would I give you a mansion when you keep your, when you don't appreciate your hood? You're going to have to, your room for growth is gratitude. You're going to have to make some gratitude. You're going to have to show gratitude and you're going to, the way you're going to show it is through your decision making. Mm. Healing begins. A lot of you are impulse buyers. You buy things, you go shopping to buy things to make you feel better when you're sad. Or it could even be with this person. You could be buying things trying to basically buy their affection or buy their attention. Capricorns are very giving people. I know so many Capricorns that would give you the shirt off their back. And say they want nothing in return, but truly they do. We all do. There's nothing wrong with that. But you're going to have to make some decisions, Caps. And you're going to have to start that healing process in another way so that you can grow. I don't see this person being good for you at all. And this will go on as long as you allow it in love. Or whatever this situation ship is will carry on as long as you allow it. For those of you who are not in a situation ship and you're possibly in a very loving relationship, you might go through a little bit of turmoil here and there. Be aware of the possibility of children, whether that be grandchildren or possibly getting pregnant. Just be careful if that's not what you want. Or if that is what you want, congratulations. 
don't wrap it up if that's what you want. For those of you who are in those loving relationships, because this one is basically for my people. I feel like most of the people who watch this are in situationships or some kind of complicated love relationships. But there is a small group of you who are in these positive relationships. And you are more leaning towards fertility and growth, expansion. You're going to have a wonderful holiday season. That's, that, that feels better. Like you're stressed out about the holidays. You're so stressed out. But it's going to, it's all going to work out fine. And the person that you're trying to impress is already impressed with you. They'll be even more impressed with you after you pull off whatever it is you're trying to do. In your work. In your finances, pay attention to your bonds. Get close to some people. Work on building firm friendships with people that trust you and that you trust. That doesn't mean trust them with your life. I'm talking specifically in work. Be professional. Be very professional in this area. Don't make friends. Make professional contacts, okay? important and here you're gonna have to find another way to heal you're gonna have to manage your finances you can't eat your feelings you can't shop your feelings and you can't pay somebody to love you or appreciate you whether some of you that's a father or some of you that's a boyfriend or some of you it's a mother who you're trying to get their approval all the time you can't heal someone's heart with money. You can heal it with thoughts. You can try to help heal it with thoughts and maybe a thoughtful gift like a picture or something that would probably mean more to someone than a special picture or something that would mean more than that $2,000 watch. So be aware, be kind, be kind to yourselves. Okay, Capricorns, peace, love, and light this has been. Be a good witch, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, okay? Peace and love.